Hello student in this video we will know about the heating effect of current right okay suppose this is a conductor okay and current i flow through this conductor right so whenever the current flow through this conductor heat will be generated inside the conductor we generally don't feel this heat because of the low quantity of the heat generated right but we if we analyze uh, the situation of the current flowing with our physical work system suppose this is a pipe right and you ask just i'm showing this one is a pipe you ask to cross through this pipe so uh, you will notice that your height is more than the pipe you have to bend yourselves and you have to walk across the pipe right so here you are working to cross the pipe that means your energy has been lost when you cross from this pipe from this end to another end right that's that means you worked something okay so that work will be reflected by your exhaustions and the rising temperature of your body that means heat was generated when you crossed the pipe from this end to another end similarly in current when current pass through a conductor from this end to another end it has to do a work right and the, that work is converted into heat how we can uh, visualize this situation in our daily life i know that you have already watched a heating element like a heater in your house right and we have very known that when heater is powered then its uh, elements becomes red hot and heat is completely visible in front of us right that means current is flowing through this coil and the heat is generated right now i am telling on what factors the uh, quantity of heat generated depends here right first i want to say the heat generated depends on current right resistance r and time time uh, in which the current flow from this end to another end right it is called t and we say heat generated as h right so first case heat generated heat generated is directly proportional to the square of the current passing through the conductor okay that means if we i will say like this the amount of heat produced inside the conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it right the second condition is that the heat generated is proportional to the resistance of the conductor okay and third one is that heat generated is directly proportional to time taken in which the current passes from one end to another end and this t uh, is in second or in hour whatever you uh, uh, select the time but i will show you by combining all three equation what happens that means heat generated is directly proportional to i square rt just i have combined so all the three above equation okay so uh, i can say h by breaking this constant proportionally constant k i square rt okay here k equal to joule constant and it is 0.24 okay it came from here 4.18 joule equal to 1 calorie therefore 1 joule equal to 1 by 4 point one eight calorie and that is equal to zero point two four calorie okay so that's one constant we have converted into calorie okay because we can take k as one so it becomes 
heat generated 0.24 i square rt and this is the equation for heat generated inside a conductor okay and this is also known as joule's law of heating okay right here k is the joule constant right this one and uh, it can be taken as k equal to 1 when k is 1 then the quantity of heat generated becomes i square rt joules okay and when we want to write this uh, quantity of heat generated into calorie unit then we have to write h equal to 0.24 i square rt okay it is because i have shown here this one okay